Yo, Elliot, what are the must have books for survival and prepping? So I saw this question come in before we started our session today. So I pulled out my two favorite books on survival and prepping. Now that's not to say that, I mean, I've got a whole, I got a whole shelf of survival and prepping books, but these are the two that, that really got me thinking. And um, there's three books. And I think survival mindset is more important than uh, survival activities, right? Because you can lose all your preps, right? There could be a hurricane that comes it's like, oh man, I've been saving canned food for the past four years and the earthquake could just come and swallow all that shit up, <laughs> right? So you got to be, you got to have the mindset. You got to have a survival mindset. So in fact, with that being said, the first book I'm going to suggest is, it's called, it's on my ebook here, The Dark Secrets of Survival by Selko. And this is a guy who lived through the Balkan Wars. And he asserts that if there is uh, um, civil war in America, it will very much resemble the Balkan War because the Balkan Wars were, you were fighting against your neighbors. It wasn't like an, ex, like a, 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 an invasion from somewhere else. And it wasn't like the American Civil War where it was North or South. It was based on something that caused people to have division, even within their own homes and families. Think about America, how divided we are. He says, so when shit hits the fan in, in a situation like that, you gotta be prepared to go to war with your neighbor. Crazy, this is what he was explaining. Um, highly suggested read this book, but caveat is that it's gruesome and he spares no detail as to what you can expect. And he tells some really gruesome stories. He tells this one story one time where he was, I guess he was out foraging, right? Like things were really bad. And he was out trying to find food or whatever. And bombs started <laughs> coming, right? When those bombs came, he said that people panicked. He's like, you just fucking run, run in all different directions because you don't know where they're coming from, where they're going. And he said one day, you know, they were getting, they were getting bombarded with bombs. And the bombs were coming. And so he climbed the wall and, and jumped over it. And when he jumped over that wall, he landed on in, into like a, a small space. And in that small space, there were dead bodies. So he jumped over a wall. He landed upon these dead, decaying corpses. But he couldn't move for, I think he, was said, he said they were bombing for like 12 hours. He said, so for 12 hours, I was laying on top of smelling the stinking, rotting corpse of a dead dude while I just had to stay there and hold my breath, just like wait for the bombs to leave. I tell you that story because war ain't pretty. Shit hit the fan, hitting the fan is not beautiful. And even me, I sometimes romanticize it a little bit, right? Because we live in a, 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 a sad, soft, sissified world where we never face any challenges and a part of me is like man like i want to face some challenges but then when i read these stories i'm like oh that sounds rough and so what that did was by reading this book i started to my mindset became more uh mature it helped my mindset be more mature about what this actually means so that's why he calls it dark secrets of shit hit the fan survival right and so he tells you everything the difference between your plans and reality that's chapter one the the shocking reality of shit hits the fan he talks about how uh the urban areas become ridiculously violent he says the biggest issue is your is violence and the violence is enacted by people who you may have once known he talks about roaming gangs after the collapse so on and so forth so look up Selco, S-E-L-C-O. He's got some articles. He got some eBooks. Um, he even does courses. I would hire. I would. I would probably do one of his courses, maybe. But um, the reason why that book is important and dovetails perfectly into this book is because they're written by people who have survived these types of situations. Selco survived the the um the Civil War, right? What is it? Yugoslavia, the Balkan Wars. This is a book by Fernando Aguiar, Farfell. And he talks, this, this is called The Modern Survival Manual, Surviving the Economic Collapse. And it's based on firsthand experience of the 2001 economic collapse in Argentina. 
So once again, it's a book written by a guy that has been there. It's not theory. It's not, it's not uh, imaginary. It's holy shit, this happened. This is what I learned while it was happening. This is what I did. This is what I wish I did. And definitely don't do this. And he'll tell you that. Uh, you know, I've, I've reviewed this book a number of times in my videos, but I'll highly suggest this. And I got one more book called Collapse, Surb uh, Suburban Survival Solutions. And the reason why I like this book is because he gives instructions on how to create things. Like for example, this is how to, how to start uh, harvesting rainwater, right? I never knew. You can harvest rainwater for and keep it, right? He shows you how to create your own solar array, right? Which I don't think is necessary. If you have a few thousand dollars, you buy a solar generator like I did, um, you know, if you got the money. So on and so forth. How to, how to build a, a Dutch oven. And it's not the kind of Dutch oven that you guys are thinking about when you fart under the blankets. He talks about a literal Dutch oven. Like you built it, you build it out of mud, how to cook off grid. He shows you how to like uh, store long-term uh, dry food items, which I did. I took a lot of advice from that book. So those are three books. Those are three books that I would get started with, but you know, you got the, the SAS handbook, you got uh, where, t uh, where there is no doctors. That's another book. Like they'll teach you how to like, how to do emergency medicine on people when the, there's no doctors. There's also one called when there's no dentist, both of those books, I highly recommend where there's no doctors, where there's no dentist. Um, and so on and so forth, but that's it, man. Those are some resources that I, uh, that I appreciate and that I think will, I think you'll appreciate also, dude. So hope that helps, done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.